and welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching the Art Prodigy Show. Joining us today, exclusively in our studios in Miami, Florida, is uh, Smarter Greta. Smarter Greta is an energy practitioner and healer. Welcome, jo thank, thank you for you. joining us. <clears throat> thank you for the invitation. <laughs> Perfect. Now, for audience out there uh, that they don't know much about energy healing, what is that all about? Well, the energy practitioner works on the energetic field and the spiritual field of the person. So by being able to influence the field that surrounds a person, then blockages are moved, the energy system is able to flow smoother, and the person is able to live optimally. Their better health, better living, happier, because the energetic spiritual um, field around the person immediately affects the physical body of a person. So you have a direct correlation there with immediate positive effects. Now you mentioned something about the atoms and you know we're all made of molecules and molecules are made of atoms and uh, you can imagine every cell in your body is made of many molecules and that molecules are made of many atoms. Now you're saying that there's a lot of empty space within these right. atoms. This space is filled with energy. Yes. Right? Yes. And this energy continuously flows. Is yes. this similar is this energy similar to the chi that Chinese have or different? Yes. I believe that each culture has their own name for it. So um, there is the chi and I think there's prana and you have, you know, um, some people call it life. This is, you know, where we get our life from. This is our soul level. So when that is flowing well, we are connected with every part of us. Everything is aligned, everything's flowing well, and this is where our energy life force comes from that we can live in such a fantastic way if we can just get aligned and clear the blockages from our life. And, um, and, and really- And how do you go around uh, clearing this energy? That you, mean, you mean there's a bad energy, right? It's, I, don't, I wouldn't say there's bad energy because the bad energy that people call bad energy is challenges. So we need challenges to grow. We need to be challenged to reach our potential. Um, so, but what we want is to not get stuck in our challenges, to become depressed or to be you know, unhappy or angry. We want to move past it. So what happens sometimes is people get stuck in the anger or the negative emotion, and now they're not functioning well. So the energy practitioner is able to move the energy field and open the blockages so that everything is flowing nicely where they flow through the difficulty and they are able to overcome their challenge much easier than without having that help. Okay, and what type of patients uh, do you usually see? Do you see people with chronic pain mostly or? I would say everything. I mean, I've, I have clients that are infants to the elderly. So I have parents who bring their children in for allergies, um, chronic allergies, um, children or adults, people who have insomnia, sleeping issues. I have clients that have been through very, very traumatic situations in their life from childhood. So energy healing really can touch any issue, whether acute or chronic and emotional or physical. It helps with everything. Perfect. Uh, Roman Garcia, I know you, you had a question for this. Yes, and um, what, um, what techniques do you use to liberate this energy flow? What are some of the typical techniques that are used in your discipline? Okay, so I do not touch my clients. There's absolutely no touching. They come to my office. They lay down on a massage table and I cover them with a sheet. And I use my hands to hover over their body and I feel their energy field, and whatever trauma or stuckness there is, in a sense, I can feel it and pick it up, and I'm able to inform them of what's stuck, what's going on, and as I'm doing that, I'm able to move the energy so their blockages are relieved, and they feel better. You know, it's in, in, in a sense, it's like a detoxing, you know, on the energetic field. And they do, they need to drink water, just like if you're physically detoxing. So really it's just my hands and my intention and focus of the meditations that I've learned of how to, I guess, send it, you could say, to their energy, energetic field mm -hmm. and to move it and influence it in a very positive way. Do you use any instruments whatsoever? Zero instruments. I actually have clients all over the world 
So I do remote sessions with the same effect. So the person doesn't actually have to be in my office um, near me because on the spiritual energetic field, there is no time, no space, there's no separation. You're talking about a soul level where everyone is connected and we're all connected to one field. So I'm able to receive information and to move blockages by connecting with their energetic fields. Mm -hmm. And if you were able to uh, imagine the, how um, a blockage would look like, how would it look? Would it be like an eddy, a whirlpool, a <laughs> vortex? I would say that with each blockage or dysfunction or deficiency, there are so many uh, visuals, let's say, that I see. So it could just be a darkness, or I see um, um, a spiral going the opposite direction, let's say, of what it should be, um, something that is just stuck. I see also um, when someone has a lot of, um, I guess, anger or depression, uh, lack of confidence, I see a lot of black tar kind of stuck in those areas of the body. And, you know, I'm able to work with them to be able to detox it and actually get it out of their system and move it. And how would, how would a normal energy field look like? A healthy, normal yes. energy field. A person is luminous. A person is flowing well. So their energy is flowing through their body very nicely. There's no blockages. Everything's going well. And they, they're bright. You see a lightness to them. You see um, they're glowing like a light bulb or like a flame, a fire. I mean, it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I've seen gorgeous lights come off of people, especially when they have a really good heart, good people. They, they just shine. It's beautiful. Well, perfect. Um, this is uh, Smother Greta. Thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you so much. Uh, coming up next is Dr. Paula Brumberg. She's a psychologist uh, uh, specializing in integrative psychology. Let's go for a break.